This is Mr. and what I have for you today is a nice little hybrid attack Town Hall 13 post update. So we know Town Hall 13 hybrid still works. The base is not fully, 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 fully super maxed. We still have some expos that aren't maxed out. Scatter shots are maxed out though. And I think the Archer Towers with the new thing with the up after the update, the Archer Towers can go up another level. So they were maxed before the update, so they were pre-update maxed Archer Towers, but now they're not. Anyway, let's dive in, see how this attack unfolds. We'll have a couple of looks at it to see that, make sure that we catch all the little subtle nuances that go on here to make this attack the three star that it is. We've got some balloons that have been dropped, obviously, to keep the Queen Walks healers alive. Drop the balloons, take out the black bombs, which of course would impact on the healers. So nice little play there now this was one of the clan wall legs so this was a fresh hit nothing was known about this base test wall breaker just dropped there on the left hand side taken out by the multi inferno so here come a bunch of other wall breakers put the freeze on the multi to get it down now under normal circumstances if you had just had a wizard you could drop a hog onto the wizard don't drop a giant because the giant will be on the outside of the wall but if you drop a hog onto the wizard the hog will jump the wall and be on the wizard's side of the wall. So as the wizard is shooting the hog, the wall breakers can come on the outside of the wall and take the wall out. However, as there was a multi-inferno in the place, a single hog would not deal with that because the multi would send multiple streams out and take out the wall breakers. So the only way to get through a multi in that case, you certainly don't want to send five hogs in to deal with the five streams on the inferno better to keep that troop space up your sleeve and because then you're also dropping the wall breakers on top of that in that case just drop a freeze spell you take a little bit of heat off the queen or whatever and you also get your wall breakers in safely which is what we saw so siege barracks has come down on the right hand side pekka has come out wizards are coming out now we will keep an eye on these other wizards as they all decide to move down here a little bit so they do get taken out because the pekka will come back i think the pecker comes back uh, something or other he would just keep an eye on these wizards here and no yeah i'll have to watch it again but it just when i saw a whole heap of wizards they just seem to have perished and i've thought i think what's happened is they perished from the scatter shot so we'll keep an eye on that in the second replay so all of the miners have come down hogs have come down minion up on the right hand side getting that clean up done early while the archer is zeroed in on the hogs that have been protected by the grand warden queen is still up taking out she's going to take out that last expo and one more expo to go and there it goes all expos are down now just a bit of point defense javelin jenny is about to throw her shield there she no there was a spear and there goes the shield take out the last couple of weapons plus a uh, what was that was that a mine um anyway it was a mine or something i know i think it was a bit too small for a builder's hut okay there we go. Hey, look, I just noticed that that almost looks like a face, doesn't it? Eye, eye, mouth. Uh, look, you know what? It kind of reminds me of the Cybermen from Doctor Who. If you know what Doctor Who is, now that uh, Doctor Who's been destroyed by, <laughs> by politics in the UK. But anyway, this is Clash of Clans, not Doctor Who. So let's move on. Queen is down. So this is the second replay. It's not a different base. Second replay, so we get to see all the subtle little nuances that we missed the first time because maybe I was waffling on about something and distracted, distracted from seeing what was actually going on. Baby Dragon has taken out, is going to take this out. So that's going to stop the Queen from pathing around. Nicely done, well thought out. Wall breakers in at that wall and just that big storage to go. Yeah, yes, the Queen will get in through there nice and easily. Now I'm of the same sort of opinion. I generally will take one wall breaker extra than what I need just because stuff happens. And I'd rather have the extra wall breaker, it's only two troop space, than not and not need it, and it becomes a wasted wall breaker when I drop it, than not have it and need it and then I can't get into the wall. So I did an attack just the other day and I dropped the jump spell and I was pretty sure I had enough gap for the queen to take that jump spell but you know queen being what she is these days certainly didn't want to take that jump spell at all and she decided she was just going to path around the outside even though i felt 
the item inside was actually closer to the queen than the thing on the outside, she still did not take the jump spell. And so I had a king down on the outside, so I had to move him along very quickly. So I raised his ability, got him ahead of the queen, kind of hoping maybe the queen, she might have just decided, screw it, I'm going to go in on this one. But no. But what was really helpful, of course, is that while the king was bashing something, he's decided that inside of the wall was quick. Just keep an eye on these whizzies. And yeah, it was a scatter shot that got, got them. They lost half their health coming through there. So the king decided what was on the wall, inside of the wall, was certainly closer to him and worth bashing through a wall than something that was two extra tile spaces on the outside of the wall. We have seen a bit of that lately as well, where you are expecting the king to possibly path around or path to the next item, which is right in front of him. But it, so instead of doing that, he decides he's going to bash through a wall. So a little bit of screwy AI actually saved my attack on that particular time. But um, in other times, it's kind of messed it up. So we've seen all the hogs. And what we saw in this one was that Javelin Jenny got dropped with the miners and then the hogs. And for my own, I find it slightly easier to for some reason to deploy mass hogs than it is to deploy mass miners. So I, I find it easier to drop the 14 hogs than I do to drop the 15 miners. I don't know why, maybe it's because I can actually see the hogs, whereas the miners just go straight underground and they're harder for me to see. In any case, that's all I've got for this. If you've attacked this base, let me know in the comments below what sort of a troop combo you've used. Otherwise, until next time, thanks for watching.